Welcome back to Door King Tech Tips. Today we will be looking at how to configure the elevator reference table. Let's get started. To get to the elevator reference table, click the plus sign next to your account on the left. Then click on System Information. Now in the System Information screen, click on Elevator Reference in the top toolbar here. The elevator reference table deals with the visitor access. When a visitor calls a resident and the resident grants access, the system will look at the resident's ER number in the resident screen to determine which elevator to allow access to and for how long. As you can see here, these are the default settings for the elevator reference table. If you click the reset button, this is what your table will revert to. For most sites with one elevator, these settings will not need to be changed unless you want to increase or decrease the time the visitor will have to access the elevator and push a button. This table only really needs to be addressed when there are multiple elevators involved in the system. This is because the software automatically defaults the resident to an elevator reference number of 1 in the resident screen. So if we didn't configure this table and left just the defaults, visitors would never be able to use elevator 2. Now I'm going to give some examples of possible scenarios. The first scenario is the two elevator scenario where we want visitors to be able to get in to either elevator and go to the floor the resident lives on. With all residents having the default elevator reference number 1 in the resident screen to allow visitors to enter either elevator and push the resident floor we will need to check off elevator number 2 for elevator reference number 1 like I have here. The next scenario we will be looking at is a two elevator configuration where elevator 1 goes to floors 1 through 4 and elevator 2 goes to floors 1 through 6. In this scenario most residents will have an elevator reference number of 1. Only residents on floors 5 and 6 will have an elevator reference number of 2. This way any visitors of residents on floors 1 through 4 can enter either elevator and the visitors of residents on floors 5 and 6 can only use elevator 2. For this scenario your table should look like this. As you can see there are many possible configurations. These two examples are the most common with our systems. If you run into a complex elevator system, please contact our tech support department at 1-800-826-7493. And we'll see you next time for more Dorking Tech Tips.